What's going on, everybody? Again, real quick disclaimer, making this video a day in advance. If you guys hear any booms, that is a thunderstorm. Don't be alarmed. There's not incoming rockets, um, not a tornado, not zombie apocalypse going on out there. Just a lot of crazy thunderstorms here in Kentucky. All right, so I got some emails today uh, from a couple people, all about the same thing, too. And I figured I'm going to address this because after explaining to them why, they were like, oh, I didn't know that. And one person actually said, that'd be a great video if you could do that for others because I didn't know this. So here's the deal. Somebody posted an Instagram break of, get this, four fat packs of this year's score football at $30 a spot, eight spots, $240 break, right? So their answer was, their question was this, all across the board. Is this a good break to get into for this price? I get four teams. Simple answer, no. No, it's not. And I'm going to show you guys how you go about finding the cost and figuring how much somebody's making off their break, and then you assume the risk after that. I wouldn't support this. Heck, I don't even support certain people's hobby breaks because they ask too much money on to it. And that's even due to either off a pre-order cost that only a dealer or a person with a license can see, or by me looking at a product of what it's selling for now on Blow or David Adams or eBay and figure out a roundabout price and how much they're making profit off it. I'm not feeding people's profit. I'm about getting into something I believe somebody should get paid uh, for a service, but to an extent, same time frame. And I also do know there are rules governing where people have to sell certain products at by Panini and Top, so that's a different subject. But this is retail, completely different. So, um, this guy does have a YouTube channel. No, I did not check with him or say anything to him about it because he didn't ask me if what I thought about his break. So, I'm going to post to show you guys why I say no to this. And stay far away from anybody doing this kind of stuff because it doesn't make sense. Unless you just like them so much or that person breaking, you know, you want to feed them some money and get a little return back. I mean, like dollars in return. But uh, let me pull this up here real quick. Again, I don't search for a lot of my content. And I do thank you guys because you guys send me this stuff all the time. And we're going to start doing it. Showing people what people make off of it, and you guys be your own judge on the stuff like this here. And like I said, this was hit by me not uh, originally when I did this video it was two, and I want to cut the time down. It's now three people hit me on email about it. Thirty dollars spot times eight spots, two hundred forty dollars. They state I will grade your top hit for free in my group submission. So that means you are not charging them in any way for that grade. That's free. You cannot add into your total cost. Um, then they go down here, four packs, four. Let's, we're going to see how much that costs. What grading company still is not answered. I'm guessing it's pure graded X, uh, offhand, because SGC would cost $25 a spot losing money. I don't see somebody losing money on a break anymore. All right, four football pack. Once it pulls up here, $10. That comes out to six ninety, and I'm not counting shipping. Eight bucks, five bucks, a little under seven, eight, a little under seven bucks a pack if you bought a box. But if you're buying it by pack, we're gonna be gracious. We're gonna call it ten dollars, ten dollars based off eBay. Because I don't think David Adams or Blood sell by pack, to be honest. All right, that's forty bucks. Four times ten is forty. Take away from two forty, it's two hundred dollars profit. Now I go, we got shipping involved. When you break that down, eight teams into 160 cards, it's roughly 20 cards per person. So shipping is going to stay in the first class rate, four to five bucks. And I'm going to make it five because I know they're going to want to get their money back for their bubble envelope and ink and top loader and team bag that they use and all that, um, which should have been already into the price anyhow. I mean, what's the most? Maybe a pack of top loaders, a quarter pack of sleeves, 18 bags maybe. We'll go 16. One bubble envelope each. Funny how five times that again, 
times eight is 40 bucks. So 40 plus 40 is 80, 80 minus 240 is $160. They're making $160 off of the four packs of score football retail fat pack. That's why I say no. I will stay far away from this. And anybody that asked me and would ask my opinion, I'd tell you stay far away from it. If you guys want to get into breaks, go look at on Facebook. If you don't have Facebook, um, go on YouTube. G1's on there. I believe Real Breaks might be on YouTube now. Very good group, Tom and them out there. They do great things. Jacob's on Facebook under the Monster Den. If you want to find other breakers, go on breakers.tv. There's a whole list of them. Most of them are not active in their chat, but at least you can look them up and see if they got a YouTube channel. And they're breaking. Get this. Hobby. You're not catching a whole lot of retail breaks anymore on stuff out there. I mean, I could see if this was packs of, like, Panini White Sparkles, but, again, it wouldn't be this amount of money. It's Those are, like, three to $500 packs sometimes, depending on who's in a rookie card class. Maybe even more. I don't even know. I haven't really bought anything at Panini Points in a while. But, you know, anybody doing this, sorry. I will not support you. And anybody that asks me if I that they should get into it, my answer is no. And uh, there's no no reason why you're making $160 off a of four-pack. And I don't even, if you try to even throw the grading thing out there, nope, you said it was free already. So where's the other 160 go in your pocket? Not cool, man. Especially when you're doing this with people that are watching your videos or it's following you on Instagram, giving you support and linking you to other people. Just not cool to me, man. Uh, across the board, I have many different expressions onto this. And I, like I said, I want to keep the video short and sweet onto this. To me, this is shameful. It's disrespectful to the breaker community. If you didn't know what you were doing, find somebody that's been doing it for years that has on Breakers TV. They, they they have a big name on themselves and stuff out there that can help you. I learned from uh, people like Platinum, D1, um, Friendly Box Breaks, and uh, Bates from Nasty Breaks. Great guys. Helped me out 100%. I didn't know everything. Did I make mistakes along the way? Yes. My audience corrected me. I apologized. You know, I did giveaways onto it for my mistakes and stuff. A lot of times the mistakes were easy and stuff. That guy's... Watch people's videos on how they do breaks. Do they keep it on screen? Some people like people wearing gloves. Do they fat uh, finger the cards? Do they have that corner going into their palm as they're holding it out there? Let me pull this off. Like this, when they do that cut method. What I'm doing, I'm laying mine here. As I'm going through, it doesn't have that thing. There's people grab it like this. Smashing that corner in their packs. In their, are they rough putting it in top loaders? Because now we're in an age where we got to grade stuff because that's it. you got to grade it because otherwise it's questionable. So are they ruining your chance of getting a 9 or a 10, 9, 5, whatever it may be? But, you know, I've been having these questions frequently over the last probably three or four months. And they've been coming in more. And they've always been with different people. This one here now, it's three people in one day. It has to be pretty much the same type deal. Questions on to it. No. I wouldn't get into it. it. It's shameful if somebody would be making $160 off of four packs of cards. I don't care if you invested $50 a pack. That's not what they're going for now. Eat your loss. Drive on. And no matter how you're going to spend it to make the other 160 up with grading fees, you already said it was free, so that's not into your cost. When you give something away for free, it's not into your cost. You're doing it out of the goodness to your um, people that are getting into the break. Because they've been supporting you for a long time frame. I, I just don't get it anymore with a lot of this stuff, guys. But that's my my thing on to it. Um, I don't reach out to anybody that does this stuff. I don't think I should have to offhand because they honestly are going to go on their own spin anyhow with whatever it is. To me, I would stay far away from uh, anything like this because it starts jiving in my mind if they're doing this, what else, you know, is wrong. Not saying they're doing anything else wrong, but normally I could find other trends that are wrong too, and I just depart myself away from it out there. But if you guys are looking for breaks of getting into hobby and stuff like that, real breaks on Facebook, G1, platinum card breaks, that's a big one out there, Layton. Well, I haven't broke with Leighton in a long time. Um, 
Jacob from the Monster Dead. Big time shimmy break. He's another Facebook guy, but he only breaks like once or twice a month. Uh, I'm trying to think of some of the older guys. I'd have to go look through a whole list because there's some people who change companies' names out there and stuff like that there. And they're phenomenal. They've been doing it for many, many years. Um, if there was ever an issue with anything, they took care of it and even went above and beyond. And that's what you want in a breaker. Quick ship and they handle your cards properly. Pricing's fair. If there's something messed up, they jump on and they take care of it immediately. All right, everybody. Hopefully this makes sense. If you guys have any other questions about um, how I go about seeing what people make in their breaks and if I'm going to put my uh, hard-earned money into it to, so they can make some huge outrageous profit, let me know. I have no problem showing it in other videos. If we got to do hobby boxes or whatever, I can do that. But all right, you guys take care. Have a good day. Catch y'all next one.